It's a dance that's over 2,000 years old, Bharatanatyam. And just a couple weeks back, Lehigh Valley residents were exposed to the rich art form at Dance Exposure and Arts Quest through the Philadelphia-based dance troupe, Three Aksha. Here in studio today, we have Viji Rao, Artistic Director of Three Aksha. Viji, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here today. Of course, so to begin, as a fellow Bharatanatyam dancer, one misconception I frequently hear is, oh, I love the dance, I see it in Bollywood movies all the time. And you, know, you have to tell people Bharatanatyam's more like the ballet in India and Bollywood's more the jazz, right? Can you right. explain uh, Bharatanatyam's origins? You know, Bharatanatyam is one of the classical dance forms that was created you know, in 19th century to the modern world today. But its roots are, you know, his listed to about almost 2 CE from Natya Shastra, where the particulars like be it the footwork or the facial expression or the dramatic part of the dance form was kind of extracted and brought in together as a form that was appreciated by the culturally elite people back home in India. Whereas the Bollywood is little nuances from yeah. these different aspects are taken together to more like a, you know, uh, entertainment to the public, not the cultural aspect attached to it. I know throughout the history, there's been a long history, Bharatanatyam has been there. And unfortunately, there was a period of time the British banned the art form, right? That was in 1910. In 1910, when British took over India, you know, they made it, um, it was not performed anymore to the public. It was not performed to, as an entertainment part to any of the, you know, Kenosios. It was just sustained to the temples. Since 1945, people started, you know, saying, this is the culture, this is the heritage that we want to keep it. And we want this to be practiced, not just in temples, everywhere. Of course, and now, huge uh, change, right? You see young college students forming competitive teams. There's Rutgers Natya, my personal favorite, and Penn Thilana. Why do you think this has become so popular among young college students? It's all about roots. You know, these kids are born and brought up in this country. Mm -hmm. They miss connecting to their roots, their heritage, their culture. I'm pretty sure our viewers are really interested in seeing what Bharatanatyam looks like. Do you mind showing us a dance? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. <laughs> That was so beautiful to watch. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karishma. Of course. Could you teach me a couple of steps so we can show our viewers? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to combine two different adavas. One is a nat adava. One is a, it's more like a kudit adava. Okay, and so adavas are steps. They, these are basic, yeah. basic, um, you know, nuances that a dancer learns when they learn the beginning of dance followed by all of these different dance items which are based on top of these nuances. They, yum, ta, ta, shift, and you do kudi tadava on the other side. So jump and jump. Go, one and two, shift, jump and jump. Well, thanks for coming by to the PBS 39 studios, Viji. Thank you so much, Karishma. Really it was an honor. Thank you. If you want to have a heart-to-art conversation, 
This is the perfect weekend at the 21st Annual Arts Community of Easton Arts Tour. It's a two-day self-guided tour on Saturday and Sunday that takes you through various art studios, galleries, and maker's shops. They say April showers bring May flowers and cherry blossoms are springing up in Allentown. This weekend, Friends of the Allentown Parks is hosting its annual Cherry Blossom Festival. The event is family and pet friendly. There will be arts and crafts tables, games, food, and music. The fun kicks off with the Tai Chi class at 10 a.m. Saturday at Cedar Beach Parkway. And if you're like me, you love the smell of spring flowers. So if cherry blossoms aren't enough, how about lavender? Orchard View Lavender Farm in Port Murray, New Jersey will be hosting a garden rock painting party Saturday at 2 p.m. The farm will provide smocks and stencils. It's BYOB and $10 to participate. As always, thanks for watching and have a nice weekend.